See, it works. Welcome to Over the Studio. We are the Bowie Project, and we're going to be playing the compositions of David Bowie. Not how you like them, or you might like them better. <laughs> it's an experiment. We shall see. Um, um, we're going to warm you up with some, some jazz versions of Bowie tunes. By the way, this is uh, Monty Schneer on the bass. Uh, this is Tom Mitchell on the drums. My name is Adam Rudiger. And thank you, thank you. And uh, we're going to start off with Golden Years. What, what, what? The reason I'm here, and, and thank you for inviting me to your studio here, um, is because there's three things that piqued my interest. We've talked about the David Bowie project, which we're heading off to, mm. you know, pretty mm -hmm. soon. Yep. Uh, you've got um, uh, uh, Lake Minnetonka, your band. Now, like we mentioned before, um, it, uh, some people say, that's a bit of a strange name for a band, but I got the reference sort of thing is so a, if you it, want to explain it well i have a thing right about <laughs> tribute projects right. so if i see something that says hallelujah the leonard cohen tribute project <laughs> i just think did you just do a face palm then yeah i did <laughs> i did I'd, i would do a head desk if i had a head desk bang it's like well, first of all lake minnetonka it's not a tribute project. It's definitely influenced by the Minneapolis sound and very influenced by Prince's music, but we're not a Prince cover band and nobody dresses up as members of the revolution. Or right. whatever. Yeah. Um, so that's an important distinction in my mind. But I just have a real thing about picking the most obvious song title and say that's the, the there's no mm. originality to that. Mm. You know, you're just doing a regurgitation of... That's right. Mm. You know... Um, my baby just cares for me. The Nina Simone tribute project. Oh, God. So, like in a sense, Bowie the Bowie project is the most mainstream title I've ever picked for a, for a project. It was a bit of an experiment. Let's see if we name it something really. But I didn't call it Heroes, the David Bowie project. Right. Or something. Okay. So with Lake Minnetonka, I wanted to just have it as a reference mm. that certain people would get mm. and. I mean, I kind of believe that it doesn't matter what you name a band. You could name it Tropical Fuckstorm or <laughs> King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard and it doesn't <laughs> matter. People might, people are still going to come. You could call it the Beatles, which is a dad joke. It's a, it's a pun, you know, and nobody ever goes, oh, what a stupid band name. They go, I love the Beatles. So I don't care what, what like, band names are irrelevant. So I thought, I'll make a name where if you don't get the reference, you just be like, huh, that's, that's a interesting band name yeah. mm, mm. Well, it's interesting because um, you know back in the 90s I did a lot of 
uh, the music of Frank Zappa. And one of the guys in the band said, let's call the band Plastic People. And I've gone, no way. And I had to find two names or two words to succinctly put what we did. So I just called it the Zappa Instrumental with two A's on the end. So it was like Zappa Instrumental, like that, you know. <laughs> and people got it. So we didn't get, um, you know, all the, the naughty songs getting yelled at us, play this one. We're an instrumental band. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah. And then we'd have guest vocalists. And you're in the same thing with Bowie Project. I yeah, suppose, so yeah. Bowie Project, strictly instrumental. And people yeah. always ask, oh, who sings? I go, no one. That's the point. <laughs> oh, but don't, couldn't you? No, that's like against the philosophy. That's against the, the rules. Yeah. There you go. So Lake Minnetonka is interesting because like where it really comes from for me is like I love the Minneapolis sound and I love Prince and mm -hmm. The Time and Sheila E and Maserati and all the associated acts. Mm. Um, but there's one particular Prince side project that I'm really attracted to, which is a, a project called Madhouse right. from 1987. Prince decided he wanted to make a jazz record, but he's not a, a trained jazz musician. He doesn't mm. speak the jazz language the way that, you know, most jazzers do. So, and also he didn't want to kind of be judged by the jazz police. So mm -hmm. he just made this side project, didn't have his name on it. It's called okay. Madhouse. And it's just basically a collaboration between he and the saxophonist Eric Leeds. So right. saxophonist Eric Leeds can play all that jazz stuff. Uh -huh. So he brings all the the bebop and post-bop flavors mm -hmm. to the music and then Prince kind of just makes kind of what he would do if he made a jazz record which right. is pretty interesting mm -hmm. and definitely not conventional and I love that melding of 80s electronic funk and jazz so yeah. that's that was my starting point for Lake Minnetonka right and as time went on I, I sort of realized that uh, it would be good to work with some vocalists right and I didn't just want to do Prince covers Mm -hmm. And like we do do some and we do do some covers by associated artists but uh, I thought what would be cool is we'll just write our own original material. So on the first album there are four songs, three of them are co-writes, um, four songs and a bunch of other instrumentals but right. if I use song to mean a, a track with singing in it. Mm -hmm. um, one I wrote just by myself and the other three I collaborated with the singers who sing, sing those songs right, and okay. then I've continued to do that. So. On our um, follow-up EP, The Honey Garden, I wrote four songs with Francoise Dargent. Right. And we worked together um, right in this room. And wow, we, we wrote, okay. We wrote four, four tunes and then I put uh, one instrumental on right, that EP. Okay. So I really like the process of a collaboration because every singer has their own influences mm -hmm. and I don't want everything to sound just like, just stay in that particular Minneapolis style. It's always going to be a factor in the music but mm -hmm. I just want to explore it and see where it can evolve so right. Fran, Fran for example has like a real background in sort of disco and boogie stuff right uh, and she goes way deeper into that than I do personally okay. so it was great to have her melodies and her ideas I mean we wrote everything together we wrote the lyrics we wrote the music mm -hmm. so it was a, a real true Brilliant. collaboration it's really good well we're going to go to a break and um, we'll continue this after the break. There you go.